11 premium money practices that will help you sell out your ebook product in no time. Hey guys, welcome back. Guys, are you ready for this one? These are more, are more like if you want to create an ebook, make sure you do this before you do that. That's the kind of video that this is. And of course, everything is to help you make money. If you're not going to make money, what's the need? There's no time. Yeah, guys, there's no time. Let me do my hair very well. There's no time to waste, right? So these are premium for a reason. Premium and it's a follow-up to the previous video. So make sure you go check out that video if you haven't watched it Make sure you go and check out that video before you know after or before you watch this Okay, so let's go once again as usual I'm with my notes and with my pen and I advise you go bring yours because this is gonna be a class a master class if you ask me Okay, so let's go straight into this video if today's your first time welcome here We talk about money as well for us African Millennials and Gen Z's who are excited about creating wealth and making a living doing what they love. That's what this channel is about. And I invite you to join us by tapping the subscribe button and join our gang. We call ourselves the Chi Money Gang. Hopefully, you will love it here, right? So also like this video right now, just in case. If you don't like this content at the end of the day, you can always unlike. But right now, just hit the like button and let's roll. Okay, thank you so much. Right, number one. What are the practices you need to observe? Things you must do if you want to make premium money selling your ebook. Remember, we have been in the ebook business um, season on this channel. And if you haven't followed up, like I said, go watch the previous video and then follow up from here. All right. First, ensure that your ebook solution or ebook idea or your ebook title is going to solve a problem. Make sure that it's going to solve a problem, not multiple problems. A lot of people get this mixed up all the time. Like, you've written a book. Yes. Who is this book for? They say, oh, it's for everybody. Everybody can actually benefit from it. There's not... See, yes, we can have all kinds of people read any book. But who are the people that will immediately give you their money in exchange for it? Those are the people to focus on exactly what their problem is. And it has to be one. So they are sure that you're taking them from point A to B. Don't let your book be the quintessential drug that solves all illnesses. Mm -mm. It will make you sound generic. It will make you not sound professional and, and not help you be an expert at that topic. So let your ebook solve just one problem. Yeah, number two. Let this problem is going to solve be a beginner problem. Let me explain. So if you want to, for instance, help Africans make money, let your ebook be a beginner question that will first of all tackle something that is that will prevent them from making money. Something at the beginning. For instance, how to think about money. You get what I mean now? So when I say beginner problem, let it solve the first problem that will be a barrier for them to achieve the other problem. So let's say that the, the whole idea of a whole book you want to write is how to help Africans make money. But first of all, write an ebook, as I'm telling you now, that will help them learn how to think about money or barriers to remove from your mind if you want to make money. You get what I mean? So that way, it's solving one problem. What's the problem? It's going to deal with your mindset and deconstruct certain negative thoughts about money that will help them not even maximize making money while they're living in Africa. You get what I mean? Number three, let your ebook be at most. 70 pages. I think I also mentioned this in the previous video. 70 pages and less. Please, nobody wants to read a whole book of 600 pages, 400 pages on their, their palm, on their phone. They will not get to the end. Even you think about how you read books. You lose an interest at one point because it's on your book. You may not remember so many things. It's better to write a book that is above 70 pages as a hard copy, right? Don't make your ebook more than 70 pages recommended by me. <laughs> yes, best practices expert. Yes, it's something I have done and I have validated it. It will work. While writing this ebook, think about just one person who this ebook could be a solution to. Just think of one person. If you can think of a real person, identify that person in real life and validate that, oh, this person really needs it, then best believe there are millions of people like him who need this solution. So think of one person. Don't think of 
Nothing. Don't think of just anybody or don't think of everybody when you're writing this book so that it doesn't affect your tone and the delivery of your book. Next, make your ebook very, very attractive. Make it easy to read. Make it be well organized. So you need to do it like bullet points, spacings, proper paragraphing, so that it's easy to read. Make sure your fonts are not also tiny. I recommend something between um, 12 and 16. Most I use 16 for ebooks, you know, for a reason because you're reading from your phone or your tab. You don't want it to be so tiny that the person will lose the interest, right? Make sure that your book is well organized, is legible, and it's something that can sustain the interest of people. By being organized, also make sure you can use page breaks and pictures, pictorials to help, to help keep their attention span of readers for a long time and make sure that they finish it. Because if they don't read that book and finish it, you will not get the kind of feedback and testimonial that you're looking for to be able to sell even more downloads of that book. Okay? Now, next, design an attractive book cover. Design an attractive book. Just go to Canva. Choose an ebook template. You're going to see lots of them. Adapt anyone that speaks to your audience. Use the right pictures. If you need to do a photo shoot of real people or yourself or anything related to what your, e your book is about or snap some products that you have at home to be able to put on the cover. Something really, really you and unique. Make sure you do that and go there and then design your book cover. Make it very attractive to the target audience you have on your mind. Remember, the person who you're writing this solution book for, make sure you have him or her in your mind and make sure that that cover will attract him or her, right? Choose an e-commerce site that you can sell this book seamlessly. Sell different products and you can have a variety of currencies to receive money from. I would recommend seller any day. If you're in Africa in particular, I recommend seller. If not, you can use Amazon, Kindle or any such um products right any so yeah they are products right platforms now okay so next make sure that you price your ebook appropriately looking at this person on your mind think of how much he or she can afford to get the solution that you have provided in the book best practice is keep your prices from five dollar to fifteen dollars and that will be sweet spot right you can do higher or lower depending on the kind of product that you're selling all right Make sure that your ebook is easy to download. Make sure it is easy to download. I convert my ebook usually on seller to a portable document. That is a PDF, right? That works very easy. People can easily download it on their mobile and have a, a good read, right? So check out any format that is easy to download. If you want to do something that flips and you think your audience will love it, fine. Okay? So whatever, make sure that it is easy to download. This is premium standard practice. Okay, <laughs> while writing this book, ensure that if you have any product that are related to that topic you have already created before, say an ebook or a course or an actual book or webinar or whatever it is that you don't mind people also getting or you want them to get that will complement the knowledge you'll get from the ebook, make sure you link it within that book. That's the beauty of online business. Make sure you put the link of your other product as a cross sell on that book or a higher product like a course that relates to that as an upsell, right? So make sure that you have a place in that book where they can just click, remember it's a digital book, where they can just click and it takes them to the sales page of your course or the sales page of your book or the sales page of your webinar, whatever it is that is always going to be on the internet, that is not going to go down in the next 10 years, 20 years, make sure that you have it linked there, okay? So that that way your book is serving as your lead, to a higher cost or to another product. Best practice, don't miss it. Okay, great. Next thing, which is like, you know, the last two. Make sure that you can use the first people who have bought into your book and read it and giving you feedback. Make sure you can use them as your affiliate. You're not using them now. Make sure you can share some profit from the book with them. Make sure that if they're interested, open up your affiliate program, which seller can also help you with. Open your affiliate program so that they can sell this book and make some money and you get some part of the money. So that's a way to reward your readers and create a great community and also a way to empower people, right? So they can sell something that doesn't belong to them in that sense, but they can make money every day selling something that has been a benefit to them. Because they have read it and they've, and they've gotten the solution from it, it's easier for them to sell and tell somebody else why they need the book. Get in the program. That's how we do it, okay? Then lastly, make sure that this product can scale. 
make sure that the, this ebook can scale into maybe an event. Like if I'm selling an ebook on my checklist, okay, I have a checklist called uh, Ready to Choose a Wife Template. But if assuming it's an ebook, I can actually create like a Get Ready to Get Married conference for single men. You know, and then maybe downloading the book can be an access to the event or something like that, or the event has a different access. Whatever plan we come up with, I can actually scale this book idea into a whole product, into a, another product, which is like a live program. I can scale it into an online course. I can scale it into a one-on-one -on -one coaching, and all of them have their different prices. That way, you are opening up this product to become larger than life and creating different streams of income for you. Did this get done well? If it did, let me know in the comment section. What can you do right now? What topic are you thinking of creating? Did you get that? If you have any more questions, ask me in the comment section. First of all, what topic are you going to write your ebook on? Your first ebook or your next ebook on? Let me know if any of these tips helped you. Frame the question in the comments and I'll be answering them as well. Better still, send me an email. To my email address in the description box. You can send me an email and I'm going to help you craft a fantastic title after I have consulted with you on exactly what you have come about as a solution and the demographics that you're looking at. Let me know if you need any help with any of these processes. Have you watched the other video and this? And is there anything still hanging on your mind that you think you need clarifications on before you venture? Send me an email. Link is in my description and ask me these questions and I'm absolutely going to answer them and walk you through step by step how to do this so that we can launch our ebook. Okay. All right. So see you then. Bye.